suck mud. Hi, hello, and welcome to another special episode of the Game of Two Halves podcast. You already know who we are. Hey, Vijay, how are you doing? I'm good, buddy. How's it going with you, Valley? How's it going? It's going well. Uh, yes, yeah, it can't complain. Uh, the weather's been nice here in the Netherlands. Uh, Arsenal doing well. Arsenal playing their Champions League game not too far from here in France. So, yeah. All, all going well. What about you? The weather is good on, on the field and off the field too, right? Yes. <laughs> at least for us at the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, for us it's getting better, man. We, 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 won, our, we, won, we won a Premier League game, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, good, it's good, it's good. I think I think we're moving in the right direction. Uh, and and uh, it was just, uh, I mean, you know football, right? We can, and, and I think uh, this... Uh, this episode is mainly about that as well, about the uh, unfortunate events in football. So, uh, just quickly, what I was saying is you can play as well as you want, but if, if the results are not there, then nobody, you know, sort of acknowledges it. But I think now the results are just going to start coming for us. So, happy about it and excited. Very true. And I think maybe a few months down the line, we'd be talking about how Chelsea have transformed or this is the Poch team. So we look forward to those conversations, hopefully uh, sometime yes. soon. I mean, not hopefully for me, hopefully for you. Uh, but uh, we move on. And I think the biggest topic, and that's why we've sort of met today to, to discuss and share our views, opinions on what's just happened. And if you do not know, we're talking about the uh, Tottenham Hotspurs versus Liverpool game concluded uh, just last week at the Tottenham Hotspurs game in which the uh, refereeing or the PGML was called up into question by, I think, almost every footballing fan, um, influencer, p- uh, TV pundit, uh, and including the Liverpool club. Uh, yeah. If you're not familiar with what we're talking about, this is a picture of the incident we're first referring to. is uh, about a disallowed goal to Liverpool which was ruled offside by the uh, on-field umpires, uh, the linesman and the referee, went up to the VAR gap of communication and the game continued as it was an offside and Tottenham uh, restarted the game with a kickoff uh, from the from the offside position and uh, Liverpool were denied a goal, which was a legitimate goal, which we found out later on. So that's what has kicked off the storm. Uh, there's a lot of views, a lot of opinion, there's a lot of rage uh, that's going on, a lot of statements. Uh, Everyone uh, has their own view and we thought, you know, let us as well share uh, the, our views speaking on this incident at first. Uh, Vijay, what, what are your thoughts? Did you did you watch the game live or did you go back to see this incident no i watched the game live i watched the incident live uh, i was watching it was a saturday night uh, game here uh, horrendous man horrendous just one word it's 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 unacceptable for for uh, for the premier league to to make such kind of decisions and why i'm saying it is not not in hindsight but when i saw it at that mm. time it looked like clear on, like if it's on to the naked eye, then how can technology miss it? Like, you know, it's it's completely unacceptable at this level. We know that Premier League is the best uh, league in the world and, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's just not, not acceptable for me. It's not. And, and it's, it's not the first time uh, I, I surely hope it's the last, but uh, it's, we we've seen these incidents have happened earlier, and and the the clear one that comes to my mind is is uh, Manchester United versus Wolves, right? I think it was the first game where Onana fouled. Uh, uh, I don't know who, who it was, Neto or Kuna. A clear foul, yeah. clear foul. Anyway, on the pitch, that's a yellow card, that's a foul. But somehow VAR did not intervene and and not give it a. I, I don't know what, what yeah. what is going on. So completely unacceptable to me. Liverpool definitely. Um, got denied a goal there. I don't know what the result would have been of the game after that, but they were definitely denied a goal. Yeah. And and what do you think is so different in this incident compared to... All, we've been struggling with VR for a while. You know, everyone 
agrees, I think even including you, I may say, that we do need VAR because it really helps in a lot of these errors that could happen, mistaken identity, which used to happen before, offside, goal line technology. Um, in a lot of these, it, it does help and, and we've seen the benefit of it. But every now and again, we also keep talking about these decisions of VAR. But this incident seems to have sparked a different type of controversy for the VR. What do you think is 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 happened here differently, or why is this incident so different? Uh, well, I mean, it's 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 clear, right? I mean, when when you see the 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 way it played out, it clearly looks like uh, 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 Diaz was on, right? Because the defender's leg was uh, ahead of him and and the worst thing is uh, i did not see them draw the lines okay they did not even take one one minute to think about it and then i was reading somewhere that you know the, the, there are two uh, var referees one is the main referee and one is the assistant right maybe the main guy was having a bad day you know just i don't know tired or whatever i mean they're humans at the end of the day right so we can give them that much uh, 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 whatever uh, so uh, the assistant uh, could have intervened right like hey, wait a minute like you know let's have a look at this let's let's analyze it for a couple of minutes not like they are not adding time they are adding time now right that's that's a new yeah. rule this so uh, i don't know it was just surprising to me that the lines were not drawn because that's the first thing they do and if you draw the lines it's very clear that you know that uh, diaz was on uh, and uh, and yeah, you said now that that Liverpool have uh, asked for the audio uh, conversation of that day, and 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 it's good, you know, credit to Liverpool because they are not sitting on it. Uh, I think uh, uh, more clubs should do this, you know, whenever they have. And I think this is the second or third apology already this season from uh, BGMOL. So, I mean, it's it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. I I don't understand. War is there to uh, help us, you know, to improve the game, uh, not to uh what you say that uh, interfere every time but come on man these are these are easy decisions i feel if if you and i and 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 the, the millions of people around the world can see it why can't they right yeah i agree with you and i think uh, i think what has uh, really uh, sort of broken the camel's back as they say is that in in this incident offside there is no two ways about it right it, an offside or your onside, there is no middle ground in it. Yes, we can contest whether somebody's elbow and somebody's nail uh, from his finger was outside and the line was drawn there. And those things you can and you have to agree because the technology works in such a way that it can identify and draw those lines. Uh, and I think that's one of the biggest failures. Now, from what I've understood after reading multiple articles from different journalists and quotes that have come out, the the uh, the VAR, uh, I think is uh, Darren England, uh, who is a VAR, and he had an assistant VAR there. When the call action went up to the, uh, to the VAR, uh, they wanted to check because a goal had been scored, and this, uh, by the way, for all you, uh, viewers, when a goal is scored, VAR checks the goal, irrespective of it uh, being scored legitimately or illegitimately, offside, no offside, every goal that is scored in the Premier League is checked by the VAR before it is confirmed back to the referee. We don't get to see it on screen, there's no notice of it, but this is something that is been followed just to check for any infringements before scoring the goal so as such this is where the situation lies now there's a big lapse of concentration because apparently the the story that is now being formulated is that the var were not aware that an offside decision has been ruled so they have only focused that a goal has been scored and that that goal scoring action has gone to var where var has said yes it's a goal and they have confirmed and they've said check complete meaning that the goal is legitimate the check is complete he's on side whereas the argument is how could you be doing that and not being aware that someone has raised the offside flag and has called out this action so this is where the biggest discrepancy is and the second i think part where fans especially liverpool fans are like 
okay, this happened. Why did they not stop the yeah. game proceeding and go back and score that goal or, or declare that goal? And I think a lot of uh, uh, TV channels and tweets have come out explaining exactly this point is that once the referee has completed the decision and has proceeded on, they are not allowed to stop back until and unless there is another infringement of the game or if there is any abuse or there is a fight or altercation. So there is no reason as per the laws for the referee to stop the game again once it has been uh, already whistled uh, to sort of continue. And that's why they couldn't go back and that error was done. And I think further news says that the on-field referee was not aware of this right from there until the half time when they were briefed that a mistake had been done. So, Man. so it's it's total <laughs> failure on every yeah. part. Uh, what what adds worse, and now where the conspiracy theories start to come out, that apparently from the five panel of referees in this match, three of them were uh, refereeing in UAE uh, a few days uh, before this. So, I mean, I didn't understand. So, yeah, so basically on Thursday, these referees were in UAE refereeing for a match uh, in UAE. Yeah. And then they flew back to UK oh. to referee for this. So, one is they're wondering what's happened there. Why are these Premier League referees refereeing a match in another continent uh, at another time zone just two days before their match, uh, uh, such a big stake match? Uh, the other conspiracy that people are floating around, which is hilarious and we don't subscribe to it, is that um, uh, they ha they're trying to establish a connection between the vice president of UAE, the person who's part of football and also owns a certain club in the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> part of this master conspiracy so that Liverpool don't win a game. So it's it but this is the sad thing is that this incident gives fire to these low low end people who are, I don't know, just waiting for shit to have I mean this is you have to have a wild imagination if this is what you've drawn conclusion. I can understand, okay, they went to UAE and it's two days, maybe there's a lapse of concentration. That's why there's a lapse of concentration. You know, it's a different environment. The climate is different. You're, you're traveling a lot, so you're not settled in. And that led to a lapse of concentration on field uh, in the decision making. But then drawing these other conspiracy theories are very funny. Yeah, no, it's it, it's crazy to hear these stories, man. But I I I genuinely feel that Howard Webb, uh, I think he heads the PGMOL, right? He yeah, he and his team have a lot of work to do, man. This is uh, it's yeah. it's it's completely. Ridiculous. I wanted to get your thoughts on this. Finally, on this topic, uh, you know, before we close on, is there's a lot of comment now on Liverpool statement because they feel that. Uh, Klopp managed himself very well after the game in that situation. It did. It was very yeah. calm and composed. But the statement issued by the club, Liverpool, is very aggressive, very vague in many ways, um, and uh, you know, is not really beneficial to the uh, you know sport of football. And uh, you know, a lot of people have taken quite exception to their statement. I don't know if you've. Uh, read their statement or seen it, but uh, it talks about taking a retaliatory action, escalating it and finding resolutions. And they uh, also sort of did not accept the apology by saying human, human error, uh, you know, it, it's unacceptable to them. So the language that they have used um, is been contested and debated. What are your thoughts? You know, uh, you, you mentioned actually earlier on that you're kind of happy that they've sort of put the statement and taken those actions, but a lot of other fans are looking at, you know, um, is this the right approach? 
Yeah, I mean, I I haven't I haven't seen the statement, but what what I what I mentioned was that uh, um I'm glad that you know they're taking this ahead. Uh, I haven't read too much into the statement. I did uh, watch Klopp's comments. I think he was still composed. He said that uh, I mean, what's going to change now? They are yeah. not going to get the points, right? And he made a mention of the Wolves game also because uh, they were denied of a penalty. It would have been a one one, but they ended up losing that game. They don't get the points, right? So, um, I I don't know how aggressive this statement is, but um. Uh, I think they are right. Uh, they need they need to find a solution, uh, because you know what uh, what's gonna happen, Valley is it's gonna take away uh, the uh, the interest of people. You know, if these things keep happening and 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 keep repeating uh, week after week, then you're just gonna lose interest. Like you're like, why is this happening? And you know, such a such a big stage of uh, world football. You know, um, are there not people capable enough or good enough to to take care of this thing? It's there are right so they have to fix it 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 just uh, i i know uh, just talking about this incident i just got to know that a, a few friends of mine have stopped watching premier league i was shocked i'm like why would you stop watching premier league but it's all because of oh. the, the referring yeah no I, i'm i'm not even making up i'm, I'm serious yeah I, I don't want to take names now but i i know a couple of friends right now who, who have stopped watching the premier league from a couple of seasons back because of these things, you know, so it's it's gonna uh it's gonna really um uh, yeah take away that that uh that interest uh from uh, I think football if it keeps happening right okay you make a mistake once twice yeah we are all human we agree we accept we learn we move on but it just keeps repeating right so that's true uh, it's- and I think there's also a lot of questions on the PGML because. Uh, why did they decline, uh, you know, assisted uh, offside technology, which was used in the World Cup? Uh, there's a lot of questions on them that, you know, you can't comment on them. You cannot talk back to them. You cannot ask questions of them. And, uh, you know, it feels like it's just a one way uh, sort of street. And it's really sad to see that, you know, uh, true genuine fans of football are tuning away from one of the best Premier Leagues. That to not because of players or the football, but because of the referees um, and and the association. That's I think uh, genuinely sad uh, to see. Um, I, I've seen some, uh, like especially I've seen Gary Neville tweet uh, saying that you know a, a sorry is should be considered a sorry and it's enough. And yeah, Liverpool should not be you know taking this forward. It's They've said, you know, they're acknowledging it, they're investigating it, and they're sorry it's a human error. But uh, I have a little bit of a different take on it. Uh, I do agree with Gary on a, on a human level. If somebody says sorry, I think that should hold value. Otherwise, yeah. then there's no value to that word, and there's no value to people making mistakes, which we all humans do. Now, I, I, while that is true for a human being, I don't th- uh, feel it's true for an organization, right? If if right. it was Darren England or uh, Howard Webb saying, I'm sorry, I agree with, okay, good, you're sorry. But if PGOML is saying, I don't have sympathy for PGOML, why should I have sympathy for them? Or why should any other fan, uh, and there's an X tra- uh, thread on X or former Twitter, which shows the number of times uh, PGML has been saying sorry for all the mistakes that they've done. So at some point of time, you need to draw the line and say, you know, how much sorry is enough? You know, okay. we, we need to see some change. We need to see some actions. But yeah, that's my thoughts on it. I thought, uh, let's maybe get together and cover this story. We're going to cover it as it unfolds and see what happens. But do let us know your thoughts and comments in the chats. Uh, Vijay, any final thoughts on this and what do you expect to see in the next week? Well, uh, we expect better decisions, right? And then uh, less mistakes and less stories. That's all we can hope for. Yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, let us know your thoughts. What do you think of the situation? What should be the result of this investigation? Uh, should there be a replay of a match? Should the points be shared? What should happen? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. It's me and Vijay Singh. Bye. Thank you. What? 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 Thank you. What? 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 What?